Today we're gonna do the top five best affordable knives that you can buy right now. We'll go through different price ranges between $30 up to about $100. And we will also talk about the best affordable USA made knife that you can buy as well. So starting it off, the $30 range, the Gan, anything from Gan, Ganzo really, the Ganzo Firebird line, I think between 20 and like 30, 35 bucks, they have the best knives you can get, the best fit and finish, best tolerances, they have crossbar locks. This one is a steel frame lock with a hardened steel lock bar insert, D2 steel, deep carry clip. It has a glass breaker on the back with a ceramic ball. Phenomenal action. I mean, this thing just launches out, but they have so many different designs and styles. I'm not a big fan of their inspired designs, but as far as their knives that are their designs, I love them. This is somewhat of like a bayonet style blade shape. I freaking dig it. Super smooth on ceramic caged bearings. Just an absolute badass knife. And look, the lock bar cutouts on the inside on a $30 knife. Next, over 40, so between like 40 and 50. I'm gonna give you two options, the Senka Arc Blast or the Serene. Now, both of these are so similar because they have solid aluminum scales with button lock action, multiple forms of deployment. You got the thumb studs and the flipper tab. This one's in 9CR18 MOV with a super deep hollow ground drop point blade. This thing is very thin. It is so, so slicey. A nice and ergonomic deep carry clip. TA hardware all the way around except for the clip. It is reversible. And man, they do such a good job with their button lock action. Now the Serene is the one I do kind of claim as the best affordable knife between 40 and 50 bucks or under 50 bucks. Um, it has D2 steel with a solid aluminum handle, deep carry clip that is reversible. It looks like it's adjustable too. Multiple forms of deployment again. Again, phenomenal detent, very slicey, very ergonomic. It is a full size knife. Well, this one's more of a compact knife, but with the compact arc blast, I can still get a full grip. So yes, anything from Send Cut's gonna be absolutely fire. You know, they're almost always under 50 bucks and you know, between like 30 and 50 bucks, but these aluminum handled knives, man, it's like, come on. For, with solid aluminum, with this type of action, they do a good job with their steels, a phenomenal job with their geometry. And this is why I always recommend Civivi or Send Cut if you're gonna learn sharpening. Now, going over 50, the Migoron Curex, this, there is a premium version of this that you can get with a front flipping action um, with a titanium frame lock, beautiful micro milling, awesome knife. Um, I love that one, but the budget one is really good as well. Fin listen to that detent. Great reverse flick or thumb flick, phenomenal ergonomics, sheep's foot blade and 14C 28M blade steel, titanium milled pocket clip, TA hardware all the way around. You can't go wrong with this. This is a badass knife for the money. Um, just period, it's a badass knife, let alone for the money. And it does come in a couple different color options. Now, you could also argue the Moyarl because the Moyarl is also a really, really good knife from Migoron. They're around the same price. Uh, this one's a liner lock, obviously. 14C28N, titanium mill pocket clip. Again, this one's a crossbar lock, which will be stronger than a liner you know lock but um like i said man they're basic they're so similar you know as far as materials and everything goes it's just more of a preference in this case um but i think i'm gonna go with the curex so yeah curex for the win one honorable mention for this price range is the Vosteed Raccoon. Um, another one, I don't think you can go wrong with it either way. Uh, this has the button lock action with my Carter scales in 14C. This one has the crossbar lock. They do a good job with the crossbar lock. Um, the crossbar lock is gonna be the stronger locking system between them. Deep carry clip, just absolutely an amazing knife. Very ergonomic, nice and slicey. Love the blade shape, love the geometry. Uh, just an all around fantastic user. They did a really, really good job with the with the button locks now. Um, I know when they first started, they had a little bit of issues, but uh, hey, they have figured it out and now they've got it tuned very, very well. So yes, the Vosteed Raccoon. 60 and up. 
the Cubit. I got to go with the Cubit. The Civivi Cubit technically and the Elementum button lock. I had to choose both because technically this is like my favorite $65 knife, but it has been around for a little while. Spear, not really that long, but a couple years. Spear point deep hollow ground 14C 28N blade. My card of scales, deep carry clip that is reversible. And it's a gravity knife. And I fucking love this thing. It's so ergonomic. Um, just the straightforward design that it has. I think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Super slim in the pocket. But this, this is a lightweight beast. It has some of the thinnest geometry you'll get on a knife. I mean, this thing is mega slicey. Uh, this is the definition of like super slicey. Then it has a solid aluminum handle. I put this sticker over the top. Um, but but regardless it comes with just solid aluminum scales multiple different colors reversible deep carry clip that's inset with flat screws button lock action um this one does have a bottle opener right there that you can use or not very ergonomic extremely lightweight this is my favorite lightweight knife as far as this price range goes and for around 65 bucks you can't go wrong with the civi v cuba now before we get to the best budget knives the the top the first place winner um because i actually do have a couple that are going to be in the first place i want to talk about the usa made knives before that though we actually do have some usa made apparel now with the usa made apparel we just dropped it on the neve knife co site we have a bunch of different designs and we're going to drop new designs each month now you guys brought up the flag being a traditional flag and when it's on the arm it needs to be a moving forward flag so we are switching all the flags to moving forward so basically the flag is going to be flipped on the shoulder um so just know that if you make your purchase it's going to be the the that flag it's not going to be the regular flag um like you see in some of the pictures but anyways just wanted to bring that up so if you want to get some 100 percent usa made apparel by needs knives check out the link down in the description so as far as USA made on a budget, you have to go over $100 in my opinion, and you have to go up to 130, which is the Spyderco Manix Lightweight. This is my all-time favorite affordable Spyderco Lightweight Rex 45. Now these are limited, so there's only so many left available on GP knives, but any of the lightweights from Spyderco, as long as it's, you know, 150 or less, I think it is absolutely amazing they do some of the best heat treatments in the game um i love the ball lock from the manix I, mean, I can't believe they haven't put this lock on so many other knives now the launch series from kershaw i have to bring up the launch series because they have knives right around the hundred dollar range 100 115 dollars this one's a bit more expensive but same materials aluminum handles cpm 154 blade steel with automatic action all the launches are automatic so just know that that they're not manual but kershaw does a phenomenal job with their launch series um i can't express that enough and for the money for a little over 100 bucks 120 130 bucks depending on the steel because they do have some more premium steels for a little bit more money uh but yeah if you're gonna if you're looking for an affordable usa made knife the kershaw launch series if you can carry an automatic otherwise i'd go spider go now there are some other usa made knives from kershaw that are assisted that you can go with under 100 um like the leak the link the dividend and yeah i think that's basically it so the first place winners winner for the best afford or best affordable knife uh you know between like 70 and 100 dollars i'm going with the vision fg however i have to make an honorable mention really quick with the curse or sorry the kaiser escort and the kaiser drop bear um the Kaiser Escort and the Kaiser Drop Bear, they are a little bit more money. So, especially if you get the aluminum versions. These are almost $100 right there. These ones are a little bit more because it's 20 CV. This is 154 CM, but they have the best crossbar lock you can get. Hands down, I, it's not negotiable. They have the best crossbar lock. It's adjustable. It has the perfect detent for a crossbar lock. Um, super duper smooth, strong lockup they basically reinvented the crossbar lock and actually made it super fidget friendly not that it wasn't fidget friendly before but it never really had a detent they've always been kind of spongy you know um this was still good from the Migaron, the moyaro but kaiser's clutch lock 
my goodness is it good so the drop bear and the escort i think if you're looking for an amazing crossbar lock knife they have the micarta versions between i think they have the red micarta right now for like 50 60 bucks 70 bucks but they, they range between like 70 and 105 dollars depending on which one you get i freaking love them they're some of my favorite affordable knives but as far as the winner for today it's going to be the Nitro V Vision FG, regardless if you get it in G10, Micarta, or Ultim. Um, they do have a Damascus version for a little bit more money, which I did do an edge retention test on these if you want to check that out. Uh, but yeah, awesome, awesome knives. Like I said, you can't go wrong with the Vision FG. And as far as which one I would choose between the Drop Bear, the Escort, and the Vision FG, that's tough, man. It's really tough because I love them all the same. And that's why doing uh, top five is really, really hard. When you have two knives, you basically like the same. But I'm going to have to go with the Vision FG. In this case, it has Nitro V. Love that steel. Some of my favorite blade steels, Nitro V and 14C is like my favorite budget steel and it has you know somewhat of a unique locking system with the super lock from snex and you know it's different badass blade shape good geometry phenomenal ergonomics it works really good as a knife it's a tough knife it's like one of the best user knives you can get for you know the money so there you guys go work hard stay tough until next time peace